I wanted to talk a little bit at first uh, about a special topic, which is this uh, recent coronavirus, COVID-19 uh, epidemic. Um, you know, this is a huge challenge. We've always known uh, that the potential for either a, a naturally caused or intentionally caused pandemic is one of the few things that uh, could disrupt health systems, economies, and cause uh, more than uh, 10 million excess deaths. And there's a lot we don't know about uh, this current epidemic, uh, but there's a lot that we do know that uh, shows that this could be, uh, particularly if it spreads uh, to areas like Sub-Saharan Africa and uh, Southern Asia, it could be very, very dramatic. Uh, we're on the cusp in science of being able to make uh, good tools to do the diagnosis, uh, to provide vaccines, to provide uh, therapeutics, including antivirals. Uh, so our foundation is, is very engaged in terms of the relationships we have with governments in the private sector uh, to orchestrate by resources and hopefully contain this epidemic. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, for anyone who's concerned about that, I'm sure we'll uh, talk some more about that in the Q&A, but it's a, uh, a potentially uh, very bad situation. Well, you're here in Seattle, uh, which is the city I grew up in, as you heard, uh, and just a few blocks from here uh, are the headquarters of the Gates Foundation, and it goes back to the year 2000. In fact, uh, Melinda and I just earlier this week wrote our uh, annual letter uh, talking about the progress, and in this case, particularly talking about uh, the first 20 years. Right from the beginning, uh, we chose the focus uh, to be eliminating inequities, uh, particularly in health in developing countries. Uh, we thought uh, that we could make a huge difference, both in the R&D priorities and in the delivery systems, uh, to make sure the latest medicines were getting out uh, to all uh, the children in the world. And this work has been very uh, gratifying. It's been very uh, successful. Uh, and in fact, today I want to talk about uh, some things that we're just on the verge of being able to do uh, that will help us uh, advance that mission very, very dramatically. Uh, the goal being uh, that uh, a child born anywhere uh, has a very low chance of uh, being malnourished or, or dying below the age of five, and that these big infectious diseases like HIV, TB, and malaria, uh, that we believe uh, those can largely, largely be eradicated. You know, over these uh, 20 years, uh, the child mortality uh, overall is down by a factor of two. And you can see that uh, in the chart that's in the middle of that slide. Uh, in uh, uh, 1990, it's over 12 million children are dying under the age of five. Uh, and most recently, advances I'll talk about uh, uh, in those numbers. And if we go uh, two more factors of two, uh, then you, you basically achieve health equity. That is, you're down to about 1% of children.